Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can boost your FPS to the absolute uh, max. So we're going to go over quite a few things and hopefully some of them help you get at least like a bonus 10, 20, even 30 frames, depending on uh, how many of them you actually uh, change. So first thing that we want to look at here is called background apps. So you're just going to type in background in Windows and then background apps. And so uh, what we want to do here is turn off. It says let apps run in background. I'm going to turn that off. This basically stops it from running all of these apps here. Uh, from running in the background and that's just going to give you some some bonus frames um, next we're going to want to look for graphic settings so graphic settings we want to turn this on actually because they're going to help us we have to you have to restart to apply the changes but uh, obviously i'm not going to do that right now because i'm recording and then you can choose an app to set preference basically what this means is you can choose whatever app you want to prioritize in terms of performance so you see, uh, I've browsed here. You have to browse and then find your .exe for Valorant. Um, and so basically now I need to restart and I'll be good, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, this will just give you some, some bonus frames for sure. Next, we're gonna type in NVIDIA control panel. This is if you have a, an NVIDIA graphics card. So if you don't, then you know just skip to the next part. So first thing that we're gonna wanna do um, is come to this top tab here. And where it says, you see the slider says performance and quality. You want to say, you want to click use my preference. So I actually had it on quality. You want to have this on performance and then click apply. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to give you more frames instead of making your game look as good. So in Valorant, we don't really care about the, uh, how pretty it looks. We really care more about how many frames we get because frames is going to equal, uh, you know, smoother gameplay and that's just going to help us, you know, perform better. So uh, if you're if you're concerned about how how the quality is, you can you know do that for other games. But you know we're we're strictly talking about just how many frames we can get. So we want performance. Um, so the next thing is going to be startup apps. And startup apps is let me go ahead and close this. So startup apps is um, basically all the apps. Actually, we can do this in Task Manager as well. So um, you can come to Task Manager right here. And this is the same thing, basically. I'm actually gonna turn some off because I don't use some of these, so. And also, whenever you download some software, it'll automatically uh, start it up. So there are there are some things I definitely want to, to keep on, like the rest of these, but for you, you might wanna turn like all of them off. Um, like definitely, you're gonna want Vanguard, Trader of, or you're probably gonna want that because you, know, you need that to play Valorant, but um, most things are going to probably just, you know, it says not measured. Some of these will say high impact. If it says high impact, you're probably going to want to turn it off. Um, so like this one, I'll probably want to turn it off, but I do use this, so I'm not going to turn it off. Um, basically, the idea is you, you turn off as many startup apps as you can. Uh, so whenever your PC starts, you basically choose what you want to open manually. And that's going to allow you to get more frames in Valorant. So next we have power settings. Um, so this is, you're going to want to go to it, power at sleep and then go to additional power settings. And you want to make sure that it's on high performance versus balanced because high performance is going to say favors performance, which basically, basically means uh, favors FPS. And last but not least, we have game mode. Um, and game mode, you want to turn game mode on and this is going to boost your performance, but you also want to make sure that you have Xbox game bar off because this is going to ruin your frames. It's just like a... It's basically just like another startup apps that we don't want to have on. Um, so in Valorant now, what we can do, um, you guys will notice that I have this beautiful new skin I just got in my shop. Very happy about it. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and go to video, graphics quality, and we're gonna wanna make sure we turn everything to low. I'm not gonna actually turn everything to low just because, um, you know, I don't need to. One thing I will say is that UI quality, I don't think this will affect your frames very much. Um, so we want multi enables uh, on powerful machines. So you might want to turn this off. Um, I'm not actually 100% sure on that one, but these you're going to want all on low except for UI quality. It doesn't matter too much what you have it on. Um, V-Sync is, you're probably going to turn off because this is how we get maximum frames possible unless you're experiencing FPS drops, which is going to put you in you know, a bit of a worse category. So for all of these in the bottom, we can have these off. Improve clarity. I don't think these are going to, if you're a GPU bound. So you might want to turn off this actually. Improve clarity off. 
and this doesn't say anything about FPS, but honestly, I would just turn all of these off if you are going strictly for frames. If you're not going for frames, you can keep these two on because it does make the game look a little bit nicer, and I don't think it impacts your frames too much. We can actually go ahead and test that, so frames. I'm getting a crazy amount of frames right now, actually. I usually only get like 180, so 350. Um, so now if we turn these on, uh, it might drop our frames by like 10 or so, so if you really want the extra frames, I don't think it's doing much though, to be honest. So these, if we can turn all these down as well, I don't think that's going to, it, it, it does give us a slight boost maybe. So you can, you can turn these up, I'm going to keep them how they were. Um, but yeah, so now I actually have a lot more frames. Um, I did this video for you guys and it actually ended up giving me a bonus, like literally 150 frames. So I really can't complain. The game definitely feels pretty smooth right now. Um, so pretty much other than that, you can turn on some stats here so you can actually see your FPS. Uh, the very top is a client FPS, you can on text only. And again, for multi-threaded rendering, I'm not 100% sure, but for these, you definitely want them all on low, except for UI, vignette you can have on, um, vsync turn off if you're going for maximum frames, all these on the bottom, turn them off, and yeah, so if you guys have any questions, let me know, but otherwise, I'm just going to keep this guide pretty short so you guys can boost your frames and get playing, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.